So you just decided that you wanted to take on the path of being an independent musician, but you know that you need fans and you can't figure out how to get them. Well, look, I'm here today with five really easy, interesting, and fast things that you can do, like today, to get you some more fans uh, listening to your music. So sit tight, don't move, and we'll get right into the five reasons after the intro. Okay, bye. Yeah. I just got fucked up all of these pain. Deal with pain the best way that I can. Bitches fall around cause I'm the man. They wanna ride my way, just cut the chain. Oh, don't know which way to go. Uh, they tryna buy my catalog. Uh, they hear this on the radio. Uh, I've been faded way too long. Uh, yeah, I'm faded off these pain. And I'm back with another video. For those of you who don't know who I am, let me introduce myself. My name is Kareem. I'm the CEO and industry coach for Hype Trilla. Uh, Hype Trilla is a platform where we help indie artists succeed by providing them the latest tips and strategies pertaining to the music industry today. Before I get started and I talk to you guys about the five great ways that you can grow your audience, I just wanted to remind you that I have a free guide out right now. Yes, free, and it has over 20 plus tips in it for independent musicians. Um, guaranteed to find some gems in it. It's called the Ultimate Cheat Sheet, the Kickstarter Manual on How to Succeed in the Music Biz. You'll be able to find that freebie in my bio. Uh, if you're watching this video on Instagram, if you're watching this video on YouTube, then I'll put the link in the description for you and make it super, super easy for you to get your hands on it. If you sign up for it, you'll get it right away. I also want to remind you guys that for the month of March, uh, going into April, um, I'm probably, not probably, I'm going to be doing 30-minute coaching calls with musicians. So if you are interested in talking about your strengths, weaknesses, where you want to go, what you need to do, et cetera, et cetera, I suggest you DM me and you let me know that you want to sign up for a 30-minute session and we'll schedule it. Uh, so that's it for my announcements. It's time to get into what you really came here for and that's the five great ways that I have for you to grow your audience. So let's get right into it starting with number one. You definitely want to have a plan. You need to have a roadmap clearly written out, typed in your phone. It doesn't matter where you put it, just know you need it. You want to set daily goals for yourself to accomplish things and you want to check those things off as the days go by. What that's going to do is put you a step closer or multiple steps closer to your goal every single day. Number two, spend your money wisely. What does that mean? That means don't go overboard with stuff like uh, alcohol or if you're a tobacco smoker, uh, cut back on that. Um, it doesn't have to be things that extreme. If you have a shopping addiction for clothes, spend less money on that. Um, if you someone if you're someone who likes to eat out all the time, cut back on that. Take all of that money that you're saving and make sure that you reinvest that. All right. So let's talk about number three, which is making sure that you document the journey. People want to see those highlights in your life. People want to see the low moments in your life. They want to see everything that happens under the sun in your life as it pertains to music. Uh, this is because this helps form a deeper connection with them. So this is something that you should be willing to supply uh, because the more that people can connect with you outside of your music, um, the more that they're going to connect with you when you do deliver your music. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Uh, I'm not asking you to, you know, document your, your experience in the bathroom after eating something that's ran through you. I, I mean more so like intimate stuff in the studio. Uh, out of the box stuff like a docu series or a vlog, uh, stuff like that is what your fans are going to want to see because it's going to give them a better glimpse of you as an artist. All right, now let's move on to number four, which is just finding ways to make really unique music. Um, having a unique sound or making unique music is very important because it helps you stand out, uh, especially at a time like now. Like, you know, we're going through the whole coronavirus thing. I know it's insane right now. But as a musician, as a creative, if you were to make something that kind of would shed light on this moment or, you know, make it funny 
or uplift people, that would really help you stand out. Hint right now. Um, so keep your eyes open and your ears open for ways to just take your music and make it something that not everyone else is doing because that's what's really going to help you uh, succeed later on down the road. All right, and now the last one, but not least, number five, which is making sure that you find your target audience or niche, and you wanna make sure that when you find these people, you aggressively stay on top of them. You target them, you make sure that you comment under every post, you reply to every comment, you like every comment, you reply to every dm um just overall stay on top of these people who are literally expressing interest these are going to be your super fans these are the people who are going to buy these are the people who are going to show up for your shows these are going to be the people who stream your music and request you to be on the radio so you want to make sure that when you find this group of people which Hey, another tip. If your Instagram account's a business account, it has this cool thing called insights that you can use in ways that you would ever imagine. So again, when you find these people who literally are your core, hold on to them any way that you can. Okay, so look, those are the five tips that I have for you on how to grow your audience. If you found this video helpful, if this did anything for you, please give me a like. And if you want to be extra generous, drop a comment. Uh, please share it. Uh, please subscribe if you're watching this video on YouTube. Bookmark it if you're looking at it on Instagram. I don't care what you do. Just get the word out and use this video to your advantage. Uh, it's always a pleasure to share this information with you guys. But I can't do this forever right now on the camera because uh, my hand's a little shaky. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.